If music be food of love, play on. This remarkable musical metaphor and the position of music in the world shows that music has gone beyond entertainment with all parts of the world having a form of music being one of the most universal ways of expression in human life. Music in a strict sense is one of the wonders of creation. Those who create music, no matter the genre, are fundamentally creative and committed craftspeople who organize sound and set sound to lyrics for effect. Music exerts a powerful influence on human beings. It not only one allows one to express feelings, it goes beyond entertainment, religion, culture, to political statements, call to action, solidarity, identity, cooperation, and integration. It can impact illness, depression, spending, productivity, and our perception of the world. Research has shown it can increase aggressive thoughts also, influence behavior, and encourage crime. For lovers of this great art form all over the world, the three things that matter at the end of the day is the harmony, expression of passion, and conveyance of a message through its words. With a sweeping review of music and the tremendous influence music has on us the world over, nostalgia overcomes me and a longing for the time when music made sense. When I look back and remember music influencers like Maria Makeba, Hilma Sekela, Andre Pastrolli, Pavarotti, even if we don't understand a word of what he sings, Yvonne Chaka Chaka, Patsy Klein, Frank Sinatra, Barbara Streisand, the Bee Gees, Whitney Houston, Celine Dion, Michael Jackson, to mention just a very few musical influences who have or had palpable, recognizable talent, whose lyrics made sense when dissected the stunning versatility of their work and the fact that they conveyed powerful messages in suits, ties, and high neck dresses. Now it down to Nigeria with its different, unique cultures, season, and occasions. And I take a look back at our music landscape from the works of the likes of Fela, Bobby Benson, Sir Victor Waifu, Ebenezer Obe, Mama Nshata, Balamila, King Sani Ade, to the era of Chris Okoti, Felix Liberty, Christy Essien Igokwe, Onyeka Wenu, to the current landscape, to see the works of Naramali, Rema, Yeme Alade, Tubaba, Davido, Whiskey. We see a stark contrast in terms of musical expression, lyrics, especially lyrics music form and real talent. The use of technology to produce talent and stimulus through visual shows not only the lack of depth in the music being churned out, but the fixation on sex, the flashiness of money and its trappings, the willing objectification of women and the demise of the soul of music. The import of music seems almost lost as we view the effect of dominant music genres on society. How do we work our way back to make impactful music raising merit over mediocrity and average, harnessing real talent, elevating music as a meaningful art expression, not a headless money spinner. Well, I've said my piece, over to you. <laughs> well, um, thank you very much, um, um, Comfort, for that advocacy. Uh, when I read your script for the first time, it, um, there's a popular saying that uh, it reminds me of, that is to say that uh, the future makes the past idyllic. You understand that is the more we move in time, the more you tend to appreciate the things you've left behind. And with music and how it, the art has over the years degenerated, like uh, 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 it puts the issue in, in to in full Isn't context. Isn't that a strong word? Gen degenerated. That like when you say art has degenerated. <laughs> yes, yes. That's, that's rather harsh, if if you ask me. Well, I said the quality of it has actually degenerated, and that's what you are living with. The but quality the in terms of the lyrics and how art is being conveyed, it has mm. totally degenerated, and that's why it has become an. Uh, is today artists now many artists now glamorize. Um, uh, the weak values, the glamorized sex, the objectify women, and all of that. And because of the, how people connect with music, mm. uh, to a large extent, you could say it's also responsible for the total decaying value system we have in society 
today. Mm. Mm. Okay, well, you want, mm. you want I, to well, say something? Well, the way I see it is that times have changed. And really? The children now, or the younger generation now, are more... They're more alert, they're faster, they, every, they're always on the move. You know, because I wonder how my kids that are supposedly heavily guarded mm -hmm. become to think when it's up, then it's up, then it's up. And I'm like, okay, I, and I think then it's up, then it's up. Then I pick up my phone when they leave and I put song, then it's up, then it's up. Then mm -hmm. I see, oh my God. Yeah. Then I say, where did you hear this music? Right. Oh, mommy, they're always singing it. They're always singing it. Where is always singing it? Even on the road. There you go. So it's everywhere. So for me, I don't. I wouldn't say the word degenerated. Mm -hmm. Because it seems because like they, they appreciate it. The the exactly, exactly. But you know, you started really, really brilliantly. Mm. And this is my opinion. As a matter of fact, last week I had this conversation with someone. <laughs> yeah. And I said, the reason why we look back is that everyone has an idealized opinion of, of their what childhood. what it should be. So, yeah? You know, your, your childhood. For those of us that grew up, on the music of people like Onye Kawenu, Chris Yesi, and Ibukwe, you, you, in your mind, because you were a ch child then, you didn't have the cares and the worries of this world. It's just it an like idea. like the perfect yes, kind of Yes, it seems like the perfect So song. now that we have this inbreed no, but then of... I'll counter and say, mm. we didn't have the benefits of that past, mm -hmm. in the sense that we were young, you understand? Mm -hmm. But today, mm -hmm. we can place both the both variables and make a, an informed decision. Yeah, so we know what we're listening to today, with, and we know what what's our current, parents used to listen to. On the issue of the, so what's the I highly sexualized songs, on the, on the, the terms of nakedness, the quality, the oh my quality, God, it's too much. It's too much. It seems Let's if you're looking the messaging, at the messaging, the messaging, the messaging, the messaging, the messaging, the messaging, generally, yeah, yes. I, in my opinion, the nudity is too much. They are, you know, the quality of music, Except you're saying it's not based on the acceptability and the reach of the music. Oh, the acceptability right? is 100%. <laughs> because, I mean, the songs, the, 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 the crop of artists that we have to, and believe you me, I love all of them. I've specific, like, you know, in recent times, falling head over heels in love with David O's music, right? Yeah, yeah, so I find really myself good. singing that a lot. Yeah, well, I love they call it. Yemi keep... Alade, mm -hmm. you know, the whiskeys of, of the world. If you compare the reach <laughs> that you know their forebears had in this music, this boy hit four million views play, in a week, old. right? So four million views in a week. There you go. If so I, can, I don't understand. I'm I trying to clear, figure if out. If I can clear up something here, yes. if I can clear up something here, I'm going to link it to what you are, your own advocacy mm. uh, in Kemak, yes. where you are talking about, um, you know, children who are just been left, you know, running around the streets and don't know what, you know, you know, what they're going to be in future. Mm. And what Raymond said also about knowing that music has a huge influence. Those same children, our children, and they listen to the same type of music and clearly want to live that type of life. I'm remembering music as a time when it was a political movement. Music was very exactly. influential in exactly. politics. During slave trade, music was one of the ways that exactly. people stayed alive. And that is the soul of music that I'm referring to. Yes. At this point, the music that our children are listening to doesn't really add any value for no them value at this point. Yeah, to you us. And that's no what I'm saying. To, to us. us. Music, because of its huge us, influence, think, now, should be a I resource listen... that we should actually tap into, like football, mm. that brings all sorts of people together for positivity. But now music, I, will, I agree with him, has been has degenerated to the point that you can't actually even use it for positive influence. Um, that's I, what I, I, I really But not, not, not all of them. Not all of them. You still yeah, have a few good songs. Yeah, yeah, you still have I some. To a large extent. extent. That, to but a large extent. only facing um, sex, uh, uh, money, yes. and nudity. Yes. Yes. But of course, we can't say all the ongoing. Not all. Of course, it can't be all. The truth is. In that direction. The truth is this. That's why I said the dominant genres of music. I Beautiful. I qualify it. I agree. As a matter of fact, if you are going to shoot a music video today, and you are not ready to export nudity and sex, your videos won't sell. But are you saying? Do you know that Let Olamide's me latest question. song, that was the thing that people actually noted. The new song he released this month, mm -hmm. no nudity, yes, no, no yeah. drugs, the question is, no violence, beautiful say, song. And it worked. People so love art it. can also be enjoyed without those very debased so elements. Chill on, the, I think it's just them. chill on the naked if girls. If you ask me, I would say it's a hypocritical approach to mm -hmm. music. Because there's a need in the life of every human being that sex and nudity meets. Now, I'm not saying let's um, make that a standard 
for all songs to have. I'm yeah. definitely not saying that. Yeah. And I definitely would not subscribe to my children being overfed that kind of content. Contents. And that's why there's a video censors board for even songs. So we can't categorize and say because, look, sex is a, part, it's a valid need of the human being. Is, and there are yeah. songs that appeal to sexuality that is not meant for public consumption, but is absolutely valid. But in Nigeria, as an art form. in Nigeria, there is no control. If you step out of this door, you will hear the songs being That's played the on very the road. Nature of music. So your children are exposed to it. One That's way or the, the very other. nature of music. But you see, the, no. the primary responsibility lies with the parents. And this is one how thing do I, I found out. When I'm in traffic, let and me tell singing, you how. Let me tell you up, how. And it's up and it's up. Let me tell you how. Tell me. The moment you have a child and you let a child know. This is right and this is wrong. Believe you me, your children, when similar things pop up, they say, that's not right. That's, well, that's well, what my children say. I agree. I, mean, I agree. Bad but words. That's, that's the, the you know the bad words. That's, 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 that's not right. Smart. We can't watch this. Research has shown that. I understand that it starts from the family. That's the first agent of, of, of socialization, it's, right? I'm but then saying. peer influence can also be very, very, very strong. Oh, okay. That's the reason okay. why family upbringing okay. is yes. the so, only panacea to all peer influence. You know, basically, I like to play the devil's advocate. I'm yeah, an I, a total I, I, non I agree with you because but art I know. is meant to you be enjoyed and is, it should not be put in a jacket. The truth is this. Our children mm -hmm. will grow up listening to future music and referring to the Naira Malis of this world as having produced classical uh, music. Oh, my God. I will, I will, I will struggle. <laughs> and besides, I will struggle to shock you guys, I'm actually yeah. a Malian. We are sharing the studio today with a Malian. With a Malian. Well, that would be epic, it, really. It now makes sense. It now <laughs> makes sense that's to that's me. That's what it is. <laughs> the Malians of the world becomes the pillar of proper music. So it's just it that's 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 that I will not allow him to write the anthem of the new nation that I heard is going to be created. All the best. I wish you the best of luck. All right. Okay, so I don't know what Ejemai has seen or noticed, but she's saying it's time to call Fashola. Stay with us.